Well, especially now in those days with COVID, it's easy to sort of just that everything goes to a standstill in terms of climate action. And we don't have time for that. I think there's something unique in this because it makes it very democratic that you can join independent of where you are in the world, but also where you are in terms of where you work. You can even join from your home these days. I'm a human rights lawyer. I want to do my work. I don't want to be in home detention. But people need to understand what corporations are willing to do to protect their privileges, to protect a, this industry that's in structural decline, this industry that's so hurting the planet. We first met with uh, We Don't Have Time last year on Earth Day 2019 and we were impressed by the potential and the possibility of a kind of online conference of this sort because you know you can for a much lower cost in many ways uh, and when I say lower cost I mean financial but also environmentally bring many many people together from many different parts of the world to discuss these these big issues such as climate change and I think that we don't have time platform is a perfect opportunity where you can showcase innovation you can hear new ideas uh, you can debate some of the big challenges but also the opportunities in terms of addressing climate change, other environmental issues. I've been speaking in a panel uh, along with a few others regarding the importance of using your power as a consumer, a citizen and also pension saver to use your money and switch them from fossil to more climate friendly alternatives. We have the possibility to channel capital from traditional investments or traditional financing into green alternatives. We need to see the fastest economic transition in history uh, in the 2020s. But at this moment, as we're recording this, you know, 60% of the planet, 4.5 billion people are in lockdown. This is, um, this is an unprecedented moment for humanity. And from this, we, we are seeing changes in behavior we are pivoting to teleconferences and other mechanisms for having, uh, you know, discussions, meetings, etc., and including big conferences, big summits. Um, this, this is the future. We should have been doing this 10 years ago. We should have been doing it 20 years ago. We are acting, we're able to act, both as individuals, but also as world leaders, to, to make this transition happen.